it's interesting because the purpose of life is really to make more life mm. to continue the process of life as it were and we as humans because we're we've got this silly little consciousness we get all bogged down and whether like oh meaning is it oh is our are, are thing sentient are we conscious <laughs> what is conscious it doesn't matter just make a baby make it good and make yeah, it make more but it does it do, but but when we're talking about pain we're not talking about um interrupting life's ability to self-replicate and mm. produce more of itself we're not going like oh we really shouldn't get involved in the cow's propagation of the cow gene we are talking about and taking as very important the qualia the subjective experience of pain mm -hmm. that is what we i think what we're talking about and what matters if it turned out that cows very much act like they're in pain but they actually don't care the subjective co the brain you behaves the, plants. the brain behaves as if it's in plants behave as if they are that's what i'm saying you're describing springs. plants yeah yeah um like if a cow was uh mooing when it's in pain and actively moved away from pain um and its behavior was was uh, changed based on whether it anticipated pain and yet for some reason the subjective cow consciousness didn't actually feel any of that pain we'd probably be like uh okay it's fine then that's plants yeah that is kind of yeah that is plants, plants and fungi yeah <laughs> yeah well we don't know fungi might have some form of consciousness um, no, no what yeah. i mean is that that is how we are dealing with them right now yes yeah what i would really love is for us to discover that plants were plants and fungi were also sentient to some extent why would you love that wait that would increase the suffering <laughs> it wouldn't increase suffering the suffering has always been the same but it would increase the suffering we think we're inflicting because it'd be really interesting to me to see what the vegan argument would turn out to be yeah because like what wh where would they go you know they'd just start eating dirt i mean what would you and uh, to me i i don't what think if dirt was sentient like because they, I think just fucking no, because I think that, <laughs> I think the I think this, the the argument could still make sense. It's reducing harm as much as is yeah. possible and practicable. Yeah, yeah. It's just that yeah. this is as little as we can do. Right. We just have to ask the plants. And ultimately, like what at some of the plants, some parts of plants are actually made to be eaten, as in they have evolved to be eaten. That's fruits. what we need. Yeah, we we become we become uh, those those fruit air, fruitarians that only eat the apple after it's dropped. So we're like, okay, we'll wait wow. for the plant to the, the thing to drop the plant, drop the fruit, and then we eat the fruit. In case the snap hurts the tree. The snap no, no, it's supposed to. That's supposed to. It's snap giving off. agency to the tree because the tree's decided ah. to drop. It's like he hasn't decided. Tree's like, no, of course, want... but like anthropomorphizing it for a moment. Sure. The tree has dropped its apple. It is no longer claiming ownership over the apple, so we can take the apple. Yeah. So long as we plant the seeds. Yeah. Right. Or we eat the seeds and poop them. Sure, that's planting them. Directly I mean. into soil. Yeah, not if you plant and poop them into your toilet. That's well, that's why we've got to plant them because yeah. otherwise we're okay. you know taking away that. But it's really interesting, right? Because like that, that is, I don't know. I just find that an interesting <gasps> thing. I just realized. Okay, so if you have an apple and a seed, right? <laughs> One view of the apple and the seed is that the seed eats the apple, so it's like a source of energy for the seed, right? But then plants, mm, the seed doesn't eat the apple. Does it not? No. So no, I understand that fruit are designed to be eaten. So like sometimes a plant might, okay, apple's a bad example, but sometimes a plant might um, encase its seed in something that then can be feed, feed for the, the, the plant, right? Is that peas? Okay, so the way that seeds work is that seeds are, effect, are essentially eggs. Um, you have an outer casing um, uh, that protects the seed. Mm. Uh, then you've got the, uh, the part of the seed that is used as a food store mm -hmm. for the plant itself when it's about to grow. So, um, that's what you eat when you eat peas. That's why we eat sunflower seeds because there is just a food store there for the plant to grow before it can start making its mm -hmm. own food. Um, and then obviously when you plant the seed, what happens is, um, it like the little shoot bursts out of it and how is it growing and becoming a little shoot when it's not even green yet, it can't get to the sun. It's that energy store. Yeah. So all seeds have an energy store because that's how the plants grow. In the same way that all eggs have an energy store. That's what the, um, that's what the, is that a yolk? Yeah, that's what the yolk, I'm pretty sure it is. So the seed of, a, for example, an apple mm -hmm. doesn't use the apple as an energy store. No, no, no. So the apple is actually the, comes so fruits come from the ovary. I think it's the ovaries, from the ovaries of plants. Um, and... Uh, and this isn't just fruits that are meant to be eaten because there are many different kinds of fruits, botanical fruits. There are many, many different kinds. There's fruits that explode seeds out, all these mm -hmm. different things. But um, so when you when you talk about a fruit with seeds in, um, like an apple, like berries like that, the outer part of that fruit is to be eaten by animals so that yeah. the seeds can be transported around. The seeds don't eat the, the seeds, the seeds, the, their food store is inside the seed. 
Yeah. Everything that a seed needs is inside that hard casing. So it's because the seed, again, to anthropomorphize, wants to be in poo. It doesn't want to be, it doesn't necessarily want to be, it just wants to be transported somewhere. Somewhere else. Somewhere else. Oh, I see. The, it, the, the, you know, that, is a, that, is, that, is, that is a benefit, yeah. because it can act as a fertilizer, but um, but it, it like that is not quite a necessity, right? It, mm. the, the, the main thing is generally that an apple tree can't move, so it then utilizes things that can move to take its seeds somewhere mm. else so that it's not competing with its own young. But then some fungi do want to be in poo. Sure. But yeah. fungi aren't plants. So. No, yeah. <laughs> but they don't have a, a food store, do they? Or, or some of them don't. Like the, the, the spores, they like fly away and they land on something and use that as their food source. So that they're very different um, in the way that they produce energy. So uh, fungi tend to consume, to an extent, to break down... Um, decaying yeah. matter yeah right and that's where that's why you get um that's really where you get sort of molds and whatnot growing on off and rotten foods mm -hmm. and like you see them growing around trees and stuff in forests because they're they're feeding off of decaying material essentially whereas plants produce their own energy mm. um and any of the plants that you see that eat other things they are only eating the other things not to gain energy but actually generally to gain nutrients <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,